What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a quick one. McGuire's has sent me their new hybrid ceramic wax and I posted a story on Instagram. A lot of you guys were asking for my opinion on it. So that is exactly what today's video is gonna be about. It is not gonna be a very long video because honestly, I have already used it on the entire car except for the hood and the roof. Those are the two pieces we are going to be doing today. It's just like any other traditional wax when you apply it. So you put a little bit on an applicator pad or the car and then you spread it around just like a wax, let it sit for a few minutes and then go ahead and wipe the wax off with a microfiber towel. This wax is a little bit different than your traditional wax where this wax has ceramic properties, meaning that when you wash your car, it'll be extremely hydrophobic. So kind of like a ceramic coating built into a wax. It is not as permanent as a real ceramic coating, but this is a good short-term consumer-friendly ceramic wax. In addition to the wax, we also have the detailer. Me personally, I am not a big detail spray person. I only use these when I'm at car shows, especially like an indoor car show, or if I wanna do like a quick clean before going to a car show, but those are really the only times that I use it. This is what I would use if I were in that situation. This is a hybrid ceramic detailer, so it's kind of like the wax where it has ceramic properties. Today, our main focus is going to be the ceramic wax. Now, as you guys saw in the beginning, of the video I was at the car wash so I just freshly washed the car it is ready to go before you actually put the wax on you want to make sure that your car is nice and clean get rid of any contaminants in the paint for that kind of situation you would want to use something like isopropyl to make sure that you just alcohol bath the car clean it of any contaminants and then go ahead and put on your wax I will take my little detail bag out this usually stays in my trunk but it has all my detail stuff in it so you can see we have our microfiber towels here these are fresh and clean. I also have some applicator pads. We'll go ahead and use this to apply the wax, rub the wax around. And I like to keep everything in here that I use while I'm on the road or going to a car show. It's just convenient to have this bag. Here is our ceramic wax by Meguiar's. So like I said before, this is just like any other wax. You spread a thin, even coat onto one panel at a time. Make sure that you get enough coverage on each one. Allow three to four minutes for curing and then go ahead and wipe free. So if you are not familiar with ceramic coating, it does take a while and it is rather expensive because it is a very in-depth process and it's actually like creating a clear coat on your entire car. It's an extremely hydrophobic clear coat that you have to apply to your car, so it takes a long time. It is not easy, and if you go somewhere and have it properly done, like a professional ceramic coating, it's like $1,000 and up. This ceramic wax is like a short-term, easy, consumer-friendly, no mess application process. It's very, very simple. In addition to being simple, it's very affordable. As you guys know, everything that I use in my videos is gonna be linked down below. Go ahead and check that out. You can pick this stuff up, as well as everything else that you're seeing in this video. My dryer, my detailer bag, all that good stuff. Pick it up, links in description. So we're gonna go ahead and do the hood and the roof today. Like I told you guys previously, I've already used this on the entire car and it is 
phenomenal. It's actually really good stuff. This car is in fact already ceramic coated. So if you are someone who does not have your car ceramic coated and you use this, you are going to notice a massive difference when you go to wash the car. For me, it makes a difference, but not the biggest difference. I'm also someone that keeps their car pretty clean generally. So it's gonna be very tough for me to show a real difference to you guys on camera. A lot of these kind of detailing things, you need to just see them in person. You need to try it out for yourself, see if it's for you. I can give you my best advice from all the products that I used, and I do think this is a fantastic product. That is why we're making this video. Freaking loving my little AC unit. Just turned her on. It's 100 degrees out, and we're already down to 90. Just fired her up. Uh, yeah, I gotta figure something out with all this, man. I'm thinking I'm gonna put like a piece of wood with foam under there. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. If you have any like great ideas for an apartment living setup for an AC unit. I'm just not really sure how else to run it. I mean, I can't put a hole in the garage. I can't put a hole in the garage door or anything. So I'm kind of just limited to using something to block off the heat down here. For right now it works. Uh, I don't need it to be 30 degrees in here. Obviously I just need it to be workable. And from what I'm used to, this is actually a really good setup. So you guys have seen me use Ethos in the past. Uh, this is the shampoo that I'm using right now. Ceramic shampoo, it's made for ceramic coated cars. Stuff is fantastic. This is what I use today and um, I've been using it for a while. Works really well. Obviously my dryer that I swear by, I think is just badass. I know a lot of people really take detailing seriously, which is great. I'm all about that, but that's just not my world and it's not really the reality that I live in. I like to drive my car. I really like to drive my car. I like to keep it clean, don't get me wrong. I wash this car once a week, like on a Friday before the weekend, but what's important to me is just getting a good ceramic coating as best as I can, clean it when I can, and drive it. Driving it is the most important thing to me. I don't spend a lot of time just making sure my car is clean all the time. I like to drive my car. I think some people just get a little too wrapped up with like trying to keep cars clean all the time, which is just so not realistic. Uh, I mean, you buy a car to drive it. You might as well drive it. Things are going to get chipped and things aren't going to be perfect when you drive it. I know it's tough if you have like OCD, man. It's, uh, it's going to be really tough for you to just like drive your car whenever you want. And expect that sometimes things get damaged and you do get rock chips. This whole car is PPF. So the way that I look at it, like I did the best I could with protecting this car. The whole front end is PPF. I have tear off on the windshield. Uh, it's ceramic coated, so it stays pretty clean and it's protected. And now I get to enjoy it. I just get to drive it. And I don't stress about things like little rock chips. Like this car is not perfect. I know from camera, like far away, it looks perfect. It's not perfect guys. I have little rock chips underneath my PPF all over the front end. And it's just, it's a car. Like these things are gonna happen. I got some chips on my carbon fiber up front. I mean, it's just, look, that's part of driving a car. I don't really believe in buying cars and letting them sit in the garage so they're perfect all the time. That's just kind of silly to me. I buy a car, I'm going to drive it. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to talk to you guys while I do this, um, but this is really simple. I mean, if you guys have ever put a wax on before, here's the wax applicator pad. We'll go ahead and apply a little bit of wax to the applicator pad. I think some people like to put it on the actual surface as well. You can do it either way. Yeah, you basically just apply it to the car. Make sure you have a lot of coverage. Make sure the whole area is covered. I'll probably do half the hood, half the hood, let it sit for like three minutes and then go ahead and wipe it off with a microfiber towel. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Side note, this stuff smells really good. I know it's kind of weird, but it actually smells really good. than a traditional wax. It doesn't really like haze up like a traditional wax. So you really have to pay attention to where you're applying it and make sure that you try to evenly spread it as much as possible. Wax, you can kind of just lay it on thick and all over the place because you're wiping it off and all of it comes off. With this, it's a little more like a sealant wax. So you have to be careful about how you apply it. Just make sure that you rub it in really well. That's what she said. And you get as much coverage as possible. All right, so let's see if you guys can see it. Uh, it doesn't look like you can really see. 
I can kind of see it on there. But we're gonna let this sit for about three to five minutes. And then we just go ahead and wipe it off with a microfiber towel. All right, suckers, we're going to the GoPro. The other camera died. <laughs> so we're just gonna wipe it off just like any other wax. And you guys will feel like almost immediately you'll feel the difference. Um, the wax is actually really, really nice. Damn, look at that, dude. So clean. It is nice. Not gonna lie. I mean, dude, look at that. Like glass. It's insanely smooth. So that is the, uh, that is the whole process, man. It's really that easy. It's pretty incredible how good the stuff works. So it's just like your traditional wax, basically. It just has hydrophobic properties, ceramic properties in it. I mean, the way that most things are going nowadays, everyone wants something ceramic. And um, they're just looking for easier and easier ways to apply the ceramic. And so that's kind of where this stuff comes into play. It works well. So next, uh, I'm gonna do the roof. Exact same process as before. Go ahead and apply it to the roof. So this is obviously vinyl. I don't really know how it's gonna work on vinyl, but uh, we'll find out. In about three, about four minutes or so. You guys can see it on there. We're about to go wipe it off. It should be interesting. I mean, this is vinyl, so. I don't really know how it's gonna react. Let's do this. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a big difference, man. Even if you ceramic coat vinyl, it eventually fades. Like it's never gonna last as long. But this, uh, this definitely makes it feel a lot better. Mine was starting to get old. And I mean, really the only remedy for that is replacing the vinyl. But this looks good. It's like glass, man. Uh, that should be all of it. Yep. It actually really did a good job on the vinyl. Um, this vinyl was kind of hurting. It looks a lot better. So there you guys have it, man. This stuff is really easy to apply and it does, it does work. Uh, my car is super hydrophobic right now, but you know, like I said, my car was already hydrophobic. I've got ceramic coating on it, but this does help a lot. And if you're looking for just like a cheap and easy way to throw wax on and some ceramic properties, it's the way to do it. Um, in other news, I know you guys are always wondering what I'm using. I'm still using Ethos Tire Shine. I just, I love this stuff. It doesn't go on too thick. I just like to stick with the brands that I really do like their products and Ethos is one of them. Uh, I don't have any of it on right now. You can see it's relatively dry. I'll throw some on right now and show you guys. Like, I'm not even a big tire shine person. I don't love tire shine, but uh, ever since I started using this stuff, I've become a little bit more of a fan. It seems like the rubber and this tire shine work really well together. It doesn't dry out and turn brown after a while. It actually just goes back to a matte black. So it's a really, really nice tire shine. It doesn't flick anywhere, stays on the tire, and it has a great shine to it. It's not over the top. It doesn't look insanely wet but it just looks good. So I've been using this stuff. Oh God, I've been using this stuff for years, man. It's fantastic stuff. 
Uh, Ethos, I mean, they're a great brand. They make a lot of good stuff. So I'm not being paid by either of these guys. These are just brands that I've been using. The Meguiar stuff is new to my garage. I literally just got this stuff. Seems to work well. I have no issues with it. Ethos Ceramic Shampoo seems to work well. I have no issues with it. Um, the Tire Shine, good stuff, seems to work well. Zero issues with it. And then for all my ceramic coating, I've been using Deluxe. Uh, this is good stuff too, so. All right, so there you guys had it. Meguiar's Ceramic Hybrid Wax. Works great. I don't have any issues with it. It's easy to put on. I'll probably use it like once a month maybe if I continue to use it. Like I said before, you guys, I try not to get too wrapped up in keeping the car perfectly spotless clean all the time because let's be honest, like you bought the car to drive it. Just drive the car, enjoy the car. Don't beat yourself up about not having a clean car all the time. And honestly, it's just gonna drive you insane if you just try to keep your car clean all the time. So just enjoy it. That's why you bought the car. Go enjoy it, go drive it. I used to be a little over the top with trying to keep my car clean all the time and I just, it was unenjoyable. And so now I try to get the car as clean as I possibly can, maintain it as best as I can. It really comes down to like the preventative stuff, like getting a good PPF, getting a good ceramic, getting a good tear off on your windshield. And once you go ahead and nail those few things in the beginning, you can really just enjoy the car from there on out. Do your routine maintenance washes once a week, once every two weeks, whatever you wanna do. But yes, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're looking for any of the stuff we used today, it's gonna be down in the description. Go ahead and hit those links. So we'll take you right to the products. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification, and just like that, this video is over and we're out.